you are tuned into Lemon Relax. Hey you guys, what up? It's your boy Tyson and we're back with another episode of Let Me Relax. Um, I hope you guys are doing fine. I've been doing great. Thank you for asking. Um, again, my apologies for the space and content. It's just I am feeling overwhelmed with everything going on right now. One day I will be able to kind of unearth what's been going on. But at any rate, um, shout out to homemade cold brew pitchers. Like, this is the best motherfucking $20 I ever spent. For all my coffee connoisseurs out there. Yeah, that's a big word. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, for real. Um, You would steep the ground coffee beans in the little holder. It looks like a longer version of the Keurig. At least on the model that I bought from Amazon. I think it was like $20. And you steep it for like 10 to 12 hours. And boom, you got you a cold brew right there. And I have cold brew on deck, instant coffee on deck and brew um like the um ground coffee um even though my coffee maker is broken um let me tell y'all a fucking ghetto ass story real quick so fuck finger hut um with a passion i wasn't able to find out how to return the shit or i don't i think at this point i probably can't even return it like it's probably way past the date because you know they only give you like two months but at any rate i brought a cure rig off there and I paid it back instantly. I wasn't going to, like, let the payment sit there or whatever. And somebody had told me, you know, about the APR and the interest. So I was like, okay, well, at least I paid it all, so I don't have to worry about that. Tell me why that same motherfucking Cure Rig is in, of all fucking grocery stores, Kroger, bruh. Kroger, bro. You know I mean it because I got Caucasian with y'all, bro. That shit is fucking $50 in Kroger. You want to know how much I spent on Finger Hut? 139 and guess what? The bitch is broke. The bitch is broke. With your broke ass. Okay, let me stop. I ain't want to cue it in, so, you know, I just had to say it. But at any rate, um, yeah, it's fucking broken. So, um, I'm traumatized. I'm just, I'm good right now on Coffee Maker. So, I just got some whole ground beans. You see how that worked out, though? I can use those for my cold brew. Um, but at any rate, with that being said, we have done enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get into today's episode. So, in today's episode, we're going to be discussing the situation with PJ Washington and Brittany Renner, as well as some critiques and some comments that I'm seeing from the situation that are kind of, you know, got my tin hat tingling. Like, um, uh, I don't know what you mean by that. So, at any rate, real quick, let's get an introduction of who PJ and Brittany are. All right, so a very quick synopsis. P.J. Washington is a Charlotte Hornets player. Um, He's the number 12 pick in the 2019 draft. And he and Renner first made headlines when he seemed to shoot a shot at Instagram, um, at the Instagram model after she attended his game at Kentucky in 2019. They went official in 2020, and in May 2021, Washington confirmed they welcomed a baby boy together. But things appeared to go sour just a few months later with Washington tweeted and deleted later deleting I hate when people tweet and delete that shit is so annoying like bitch we still got it like but okay a cryptic message about someone quote faking it all along unquote so fast forward to this week this article was posted um August 11th he recently came out and slammed a rumor of him having to pay 200k a month in child support and basically his response was stop the cap. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be more or less because um, Washington is currently still in his rookie deal, which means he's reportedly raked in 7.8 million so far as a pro and is slated to make about 14 million over the next two seasons. But as I said, before anybody could confirm or deny, of course, Twitter had their jokes. Some people were sharing condolences (laughs) for what, I don't know. But at any rate, um, he came out that following Wednesday and tweeted stop the cap and if y'all don't know what that means that means quit lying so there's a quick introduction to how they came to be together as far as their union is concerned he is a basketball player she is an Instagram initially the pair met when Washington was 18 and attending the University of Kentucky and Renner was 27 their relationship progressed from there culminating in Washington going pro, impregnating Renner, the birth of the child, and their abrupt breakup. 
In the aftermath, Renner has been accused by many, including seemingly Washington, of grooming. <laughs> oh my God. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. I'm going to calm down. <laughs> then using the young star for financial security, particularly given the kind of money she stands to gain. Washington signed a four-year, $12 million deal with the Hornets after getting drafted. All right. So... People are coming out with the sad violins. Some people are saying he chose what he chose. Um, we'll get into my opinion, but first, a little later. But first, let me play this video from Brittany Renner herself, you guys. And for those of y'all who don't know, she's not only an IG model. She is also the author of a book, a book in which she marks her many of escapades. And let's just go down the list of people she's been linked with. James Harden, Drake, Lil Uzi Vert, Jamal Murray, Ben Simmons, Trey Songs, Chris Brown, and Collar Kaepernick in the past dated for more than a year. Let me see. No, 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 no. Okay, sorry. I shouldn't have read that last part. But at any rate, you just heard about what, 10 names? All right. So on top of that, and some of those people are listed in the book as well. Let me play you a clip from Miss Renner herself. This is the type of girl that PJ Washington chose. Trust me, I know it's ghetto. <laughs> it is so ghetto being a baby mama and thinking about multiple baby daddies is scary. But mm, you and my baby going to be all right. We're going to be all right. So we're moving forward, onward, and upward. Okay. I know a lot of you are skeptical about talking to people with children, but I can assure you the baby mamas now, today, we don't give a damn. You can have them. I have exited the rat race. I am not a threat. I want you to be around for a long time, not a good time. You can hold my son. Put him on your story. I trust <laughs> his judgment. <clears throat> I Sorry. really do. I really, really do. I just want you guys to be happy. I swear. <laughs> I do. Now, I'm not a threat. But, you know, I can't speak for the other, 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 other hoes that you don't know about. You know, maybe I'll never be in your favor. <laughs> but I am here for it, okay? Like, people move on. Save the, you should have got the ring first. It wasn't going to work out anyways. <laughs> it just wasn't going to work <clears throat> I'm Sorry, y'all. Work out. Let's laugh together and let's raise this baby, you know? You can think of My mistake, there's more. That was YouTube, the ad cut her off. I am here for it, okay? Like, people move on. Save the, you should have got the ring first. <laughs> Sorry, It wasn't going to work out anyways. I didn't it mean to wind it back that far. Out. Let's laugh together and let's raise this baby, you know? <laughs> Ooh, this ghetto. It's so fucking ghetto. <laughs> um, in conclusion, step daddy sees him. Big aura, big lumber, big follow through need only apply. <laughs> Eleven athletes. <laughs> Woo! Five entertainers. Woo! Eight regular guys. Woo! In my experience, the worst people to deal with are the athletes. None of them use condoms, really. So if y'all really want to try to come up off a check off a man, I mean, you could just fuck an athlete. They're really dumb. <laughs> My favorite basketball team is whatever NBA player I'm fucking. <laughs> I love watching basketball. It's just way more interesting when there's someone on the team like that I'm linked to. But Nah, baby, you like watching balls bounce in them shorts, but it's okay. You go ahead. I don't really have a favorite one. So the preference has spoken. Um, that's clear. Um, for the purpose of this video, I've broken this down into about three or four main talking, talking points. Um, and hopefully I won't sway too much, but I'm going to, if I say slut or whore, um, my thoughts on slut shaming, like I'm not clocking anybody's miles on their crotch, male, female, I don't care, but I don't mind calling a ladybug a bug because... It is what it is, um, and especially if you're self-proclaimed. And this this woman definitely is giving Amber Rose teas. So, if I refer to her as that, 
let's be clear that she 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 she's okay with it. She she don't care. Um, not only does she not care, I keep the same energy, and I think that's one place where I think society falls short. If Lori Harvey is a so-called hoe, so is Future. Like. <laughs> They dated. They dated. Like, birds of a feather flock together. And that's not to say that Lori Harvey is smashing all these people. I really don't know why y'all care so much um, when it comes to her. I just brought her up because that is somebody, a socialite. You know what I'm saying? So if these socialites are whores, the people they're fucking are whores too. I don't, I don't differentiate, you know, because of gender. Like, no, Future is a slut. He is a whore. <laughs> it's disgusting quite often. Or quite honest. Um... But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, society just does not put the same amount of shame on men that they do women. As if sexual diseases differentiate between gender. Like, you know, STDs are just going to jump over men. Like, oh, that's a man. We'll leave him alone. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. But for whatever reason, society is hell-bent on dragging only the women. So if I do refer to Britney Renner as ho or whore, if I just say that in general, just just know she, she doesn't care. So you shouldn't either. Um, and I will keep the same energy. So with that being said, um, I want to talk about uh, black men's responses and the lack of accountability that I'm seeing within this discussion. And even in that article, it, it got me so heated as a person who was raped and you know as i later started analyzing the situation after i had time to you know grow older and heal i realized there was a bit of grooming in the situation and for me for people to just throw that term around loosely it, it angered me i was molested um or no raped sorry actually both um but that happened in my young teen years PJ Washington was 18 years old when he got with this 27 year old woman. Now I will say that there is something to be said about an 18 year old and a 27 year old dating. I don't think that you're in the same headspace, and you, if you are, that's a pro that's problematic in and of itself. No 27 year old should be on the same mental wavelength as an 18 year old. So we can put that conversation on the back burner though. And the reason why I'm going to put it on the back burner and not discuss it is because if the child support situation was not happening, a lot of these black men speaking out against Brittany Renner, they would not care. <laughs> they wouldn't say shit. Um, she wouldn't be grooming him if there was no child support involved. That would not be a point that they would be using. It's only because the child support rumors, that's why y'all are upset. It has nothing to do with the fact that, yeah, she actually did somewhat groom him. But y'all are mad because it didn't work in his favor. Um, the sucker got sucked. So <laughs> that's why y'all are upset. That's why y'all are using this term grooming so loosely. And it's, it's, it's honestly disgusting me as a survivor of sexual assault. It's, it's pissing me off. But at any rate, let me go to, um, let's go to Twitter and find some responses. Um, all right, this one right here. The women in PJ Washington's family got to do something, man. What are they going to do? Um, I'm very confused by this. Um, somebody responded to that tweet and said, he didn't receive the proper guidance growing up. Probably raised, here we go, probably raised by a single mother. Unfortunately, he's a grown man now and his decisions are nobody's responsibility but his own. And I'm glad that somebody came and checked him and said, yeah, I'm sure he wear his father, wears his father's collar's jersey number because he was raised by a single mother. Stop with the disgusting stereotypes. I'm glad they came through and checked his ass. That shit annoys the fuck out of me. And this is one of those examples where I say in the... Um, what I was going to say, what I was going to say. Oh yeah. I've talked about this before on my channel. How I feel like the isms within the world outside of the black community, they get amplified within the black community. Like when something happens on the news and a kid does something foul, white people's response and non-black people, non-black people's response tends to be, where are the parents? Where are the parents at? Whereas in our community, we blame the single mothers. We don't bring up the fathers. Nowhere. We just blame the single mothers. We go straight to, oh, he must be raised by a single mother. <laughs> There's no type of accountability whatsoever. Um, 
so yeah i did want to bring that point up but let's let's keep going okay so next tweet let's see dj academics after finessing pj washington for a few millions shawty back on the prowl talking about his stepdaddy season pray for britney renner's next victim see even the terminology where are these men victims she told you exactly what the game was she laid it out for you this is the equivalent of somebody robbing you after they told you they're gonna rob you and you still leave the door unlocked <laughs> they literally said hey i'm gonna rob you at 3 p.m tomorrow you went home left for work and left the door unlocked because you you didn't believe that it was gonna happen i don't, I don't know what his mindset was in assessing a relationship with her and i will give him credence a little bit just the slight amount actually no i'm not going to you know i understand he's 18 he was a young adult when they got together but at the end of the day y'all don't extend that same credence to black women when they make mistakes in their youth for one and then for two this lady straight out told you like i don't care if you're a young adult or not i'm 23 and i can see clear as day this lady is using her pussy for a paycheck is it and she told you and quite frankly, being that I have a song called Rich Thought, I can't really hate on them, but <clears throat> I'm not going to sit here and get upset either when, like I said earlier, the sucker got sucked. She told you. She, she's laid out this plan. She's well known in the industry as a jump off. That This is her thing. All right. So those are some responses from everyday black men. I'm about to bring up a celebrity, but I wanted to put those out first because I already know y'all's response. Oh, those are celebrity black men. They don't represent us all. Okay, well, those are tweets from everyday black men that were liked and retweeted by everyday black men. Social media is nothing but an extension of our reality. That's it. So I just want to get that out of the way first. Um, however, what really pissed me off was Chris Young's, or sorry, not Chris Young's, Nick Young's, solution to the situation actually I, I say pissed me off it annoyed me I, I don't I take everything with a grain of salt from black celebrity men and really everyday black men but I just vet as a lot of these black women spaces say I just vet individually so that's just what I do um but at any rate going back to what Nick Young said his response was just quit your job bro so he tweeted, if you have a kid with a gold digger, just quit your job. He, first of all, quick your job. He meant to say quit. So if you made the reckless decision in the heat of the moment because you're in heat and you're horny to bust down the first IG thought you came into contact with, IG model, not all of them are thoughts, <clears throat> but model that you came into contact with, and now she wants you to fund your child and your response is to quit your job now again i understand maybe he meant it as a joke i know nick young is you know um a, a self i won't say self-proclaimed comedian but he's kind of goofy he's you know his personality his persona it's kind of funny so maybe he was telling joke I, I don't know if he was serious but this is one of those times where like i say in the black community this is not funny this is, it's not a like it's not a laughing matter it's not a joke these are kids welfare and health that we're talking about here you know what i'm saying and their security you know what i'm saying that's not something to joke about and then I'm pretty sure, logically speaking, like logistically, legally speaking, I don't think it would be that easy anyways. So like I said, I'm taking what, it's, what he said with a grain of salt, but that annoyed me. It took all, absolved all of the accountability from PJ and put it on Britney, on the gold digger. Who told you she's a gold digger prior to everybody's known this. Known jump off. And there's no type of accountability whatsoever. And it's really embarrassing, you know, even some of these blogs, the way they're spinning this narrative um, of, you know, him being a victim. Like, it's, 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 it's annoying. It's annoying. I'm not even going to lie. It is annoying as fuck to see this shit. Damn shame. Just for clar clarification, he did get to meet his son, PJ Washington, a few weeks ago, 
and he is denying that he's going to have to pay 2.4 million annually in child support so just an update because i did want to like the only thing and this kind of moves into my next point of who do i fault more and the only thing that i was going to say that was trifling on britney renner's end is the fact that if she's not allowing him to see his son and then um her, her come up as far as like what she did um like and let me be very clear in these situations my stance is you're a man you're a man you need to know how to move as a man i know he's a young adult man and excuse me i did say earlier i would give him a little bit of credence but this girl literally has it spelled out tattooed on her forehead i am a hoe i am here for your money now i don't know when she posted that video saying that athletes are dumb just fuck them they don't use condoms i don't know when she posted that she could have posted it after he and her split she could have posted it before she got with him i heard her say in the beginning of that video that eloho had i heard her say i'm 24 so if you do the math he was 18 she was 27 he's now like 21 22 um three years ago from now so if she said in the beginning what she said which is what i thought i heard her say i'm 24 and then before she went down to the list of you know how to, how to ball a rapper actor all that shit um or athlete before she went into all that it sounded like she said in the beginning of the video i'm 24 so that means she's now 27 that would have been three years ago right before they started dating a year before actually so he homeboy had time if that's what she said he had time to do his research even if she never put that video out until after they broke up still she was a known jump off i refuse to feel bad for a sucker getting stuck you had every warning at your and resource at your disposal there's no excuse google is a thing um i recently started using the bumble app i need more friends i have realized this um so i'm trying to use that app get into it um you know finding friends and whatever i look these people up before i hang out with them like that I, that's and that's people i'm just hanging out with as friends i'm not using the dating portion right now at the moment because y'all know i um <clears throat> be having sugar mamas <clears throat> but i'm not using that portion i'm using the friendship portion before i go to hang out with one of these niggas i look them up on social media i check them out i vet them before i hang out with them as friends so if he could not do that as somebody with somebody that he was looking at as a uh, as marriage material as somebody to date somebody to court somebody to have a child with that is on him that onus is on him as far as britney renner is concerned and the women like britney renner the jump offs um scallywags what do you want to call them thoughts hoes as far as they're concerned the only thing that i find trifling with them is the way that they're gaining this financial stability um as far as the men are concerned i fought them more because you already you know what it is and it's so funny there's all this sympathy and oh he was groomed and and he's a victim there's all this sympathy for him but if britney renner was his wife and let's say she was expunged of all her wholeness or <laughs> that sounds like they, uh fucking uh what's her name damn damn drea when she said your whole list can get deleted i didn't mean she was expunged of her wholeness what i mean is let's say she was actually like quote unquote wifey material let's say she was not um a pass around uh, let's say she was just an act like i said earlier some of these ig models are just that they are models they're not actually hoes a lot of them are probably hoeing to you know in between you know sponsorships and you and do what you gotta do but let's say she was just an ig model and she was not you know in uzi's bed and kaepernick's bed and all that shit if she was his wife and they were together and he was caught up in a cheating scandal these same men saying that oh pj washington is a victim and she groomed him would be saying well britney you knew what you got into when you signed up to date an athlete you should have known better that would be flipped on her just like that so for me it's the not it's this it's, and that's something that she could have been ambushed with blindsided with that is actually a general or genuine ambushing and blindsiding nobody goes into a relationship 
for the most part, thinking they're going to be cheated. But y'all would have that response for her. But now that it's on PJ and the signs were there, y'all are still calling him a victim and saying she he's been groomed. And I'm sorry, like I said earlier, I can admit that he was groomed, but as far as feeling bad for him, eh. And I can admit that only because of the age difference. It has nothing to do with the child support. That's why y'all are mad. Y'all are upset with the child support. Y'all think that he should be able to go on about his day and she should have to pay for the child herself. That's what y'all want. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I feel no types of bad for him whatsoever. I do not. Um, choose better. Choose better. I think it just comes down to choosing better i think that their relationship period for me was a little um the time frame was a little too soon like in all in two years to be married and have a child i think that's a little too quickly granted everybody moves on their own volition and i mean yeah he's a young adult but he's an adult so he has the right to do what he wants that's his money that's his household and now he'll be sharing it with her. <laughs> it might not be 200000 a month, but it's, it's going to be a pretty penny. Um, child support is based on your income. So, and, and it, it, the same way we're saying eat the rich and tax the rich, I don't know. It just goes to show you to the black women listening and to the black men who are on the same type of time that I am as far as we're not doing this, you know, victimhood shit and all this. It really speaks to how black male identified this community is that black men who will never even see a hundred K in a year, just because a black man decided to black male entertainer, black male athlete, actor, whatever decided to be an idiot with his penis. And now he's got to pay for it for the next 18 or um, 18 or so years. The same men who will never see a hundred K in a year, it never in their life, some of y'all will jump up to defend the ones who will see it in one show or who will see it in one feature. Like, you got to really understand and think about the, the pathology behind a lot of us black men. It's, it's very interesting. Because um, me, I'm not jumping for a bitch who, you know, hopefully my music takes off. Hopefully I'm able to be up there with the, the you know, the top um, charters. And, you know, eat off of my music and my podcasting and all of that and my content. But I'm just not going to be jumping up and down in another man's wallet like that. Or in Britney Renner's crotch or in Lori Harvey's crotch. Like, or worried about some weave or some nails or some um, blonde wigs. I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, black men, we got to do better. <laughs> this is... It's, it's really ghetto. What she said, it's, it's the ghetto. <laughs> um, but yeah, the preference has spoken. Um, do I think any of, or many, if any of the athletes will learn from PJ's Washington mistake? Unfortunately, I don't. Um, this is what happens when you are an insecure man. So the only solutions I have is... And, and I mean, for him, I don't, I, I, can't, I could say do better, but he's already moved on with another Instagram model. So I don't know if he'll ever learn. Hopefully he will. And if hopefully when he does, it doesn't have to be at the expense of having a soccer team of kids that you're, that you cannot physically be there for. I don't care about the financials so much right now. We're talking about the physical aspect of you being there. Um, so, yeah, y'all let me know. Drop down in the comments. Hit me on social media. Let me know what y'all think about this topic. I just wanted to give a different perspective because the, the victimhood, it, the victimization of this is pissing me off. It's annoying as shit. Um, what do you think? Do you think PJ Washington got what he deserved? Um, do you think Brittany Renner really did <laughs> groom him? Um, let me know down below and I will get back to y'all in the next video. Oh, and real quick, I'm going to do my own research, but if anybody knows a good brand of a laptop, please reach out to me. Let me know. Um, the, the ideal use of this laptop will be content, um, editing, and it's just like, we are such brand whores as Americans. Like, why are we paying all this money when this iPhone can hit the ground and be over, like literally OVA, in a matter of seconds? Like, the breath that an iPhone user takes 
when their phone falls is different from everybody else. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Um, but we pay thousands for these fucking phones. Why do we pay thousands for these laptops? And they sound like fucking AC units within five minutes of sitting on your legs. Like, this shit is ridiculous. So if y'all could let me know a decent brand for laptops, I'm going to be doing my own research. But it'd be good if y'all could drop down let me know what y'all use. Um, also, any software for editing. That'll be good to know. But, um, yeah, I'm looking to get another laptop because this, this Mac shit is um, the MacBook Air. I don't know what version it is. It was a gift. And I've had it for about four years. So it might just be, you know, time to get another one anyways. But I'm getting sick of this damn AC unit ass laptop. <laughs> so if y'all could let me know down below any suggestions and leave your comments on the situation with PJ Washington and Brittany Renner. Y'all have a great day and I will catch y'all on the next episode of Let Me Relax. Peace.